Impact Wrestling here in Des Moines, NAIA National Championships with Grandview Coach Nick Mitchell, eighth straight national title, close to 220 points, 12 All-Americans. What are you most proud of of this team? Um, it's a total team effort. You know, it was every guy. We brought 12 guys here, all 12 All-Americans. Um, you know, it's crazy. You, you leave after a night like this, and we had a couple guys come up short, and, and we know we left some points out there. And, and, and it's not just the points. It's just more about some guys that didn't quite get what they want. And so, um, as usual, you know, I just feel like there's there's more. You know, there's more that, that, that could be accomplished. Uh, but just really feel good about the effort these guys put in. Had some really awesome performances on the backside of the bracket too. You guys set the standard a couple years ago, 234 and a half. When you woke up this morning, did you think that number was in within reach? No, not really. I mean, coming in this weekend, I, did, I mean, I think we ended up with the second most points ever. Um, I didn't think this season was going to be like this. I didn't think this national tournament was going to be like this, you know, just being honest. Um, but our guys just they really bought into our philosophy. You know, we talk about championship lifestyle, and, and that's what this team is all about. You know? So at the end of the year, when you look back on it, it really isn't that surprising. When did it start coming together? Um, to you know, reach this level. Yeah, I think just throughout the year, we kind of just started seeing like the work ethic of some of these guys. Um, you know, kind of seeing where guys were falling into place. And uh, I don't know, it just, it, you know, it, it's hard to, I guess it's hard to put my finger on, but you look it back and um, just kind of seeing a week to week, just there, there was constant progress. You guys got to the top in a hurry. What was it, year three, year four? Year four was our first four. national title, yeah. And, and you've managed to stay on top ever since. Yeah. In retrospect, which is more surprising, the fact that you won it in year four or that you, you haven't lost one since? I don't know. Um, probably that we haven't lost one since. You know, I mean, year four was, I mean, it, obviously that was, that was exciting and, you know, we felt good about that. Um, but I never really thought we'd be in this position here now eight years later. So, um, yeah, I think that's probably the, it's been the tougher part. It's just getting to the same level, you know, continuously. Well, you guys have gotten better, and the, and the bar keeps going higher on your end. It seems like this tournament's gotten a heck of a lot tougher, it's too. Tougher, yeah. How has have the two combined? I mean, how have the two kind of gone in parallel? You know, I think that that's the thing. The tournament's way deeper. Um, the, the, we have more teams than we've ever had. Um, you know, the, the competition's getting better. The coaches, are, the coaches are getting better. It's all the way around. Our division has improved so much. And, uh, you know, so that means we have to raise our standard. It just means we have to be better. And, and, you know, so for us, that just always goes back to the same thing. We're just setting the bar at uh, trying to figure out how good we can be every year. It's, just, it's never been about winning a national title. Uh, we hope that happens along the way, but it's always just about what's our best product look like at the end of the year. One of the unique things about NAIA wrestling, you can enter two guys at the same weight class, 12 in total. When you enter two guys at the same weight, ideally you end up with a deal like you had 149 pounds with yeah. two guys wrestling for a title. That's happened to you before. Yep. How weird is that? It's a little different, you know, and, and it's not, I mean, we're excited and we love it. You know, that's the goal. The hard part for me is um, any other match you go into, I feel like we've got a shot to win. And you go into a match like that and you know one guy's going to lose, you know, so it's, it's stressful. And before that ever happened back in 2014, we thought it was going to be fun. And I was always like, man, I'm going to be in the sands eating popcorn. And I was more stressed then and I was stressed for that one tonight, too, just because, you know, someone's going to walk off the mat disappointed. How do you handle that? You're happy for one guy, you're crushed for the other. Um, you know, it just, that's a sport. You know, it doesn't matter that it's a teammate. It doesn't matter who it is. It, it all comes down to it, you know, in the sport, you, you get what you deserve. And, and it's hard, man. It's a hard thing to swallow. Um, but when it comes down to, to the end of the day, it's just, it's another guy. It's just somebody else standing in front of you that you got to compete with. You've never had a four-timer. That's one thing Grandview Wrestling has never done. You'll have a shot at it next year. Yep. What has made Evan Hansen special? Um, he loves wrestling. I mean, he puts a ton of time in. He's got a great attitude. Uh, he bought into our philosophy day one. I mean, when I say day one, on his recruiting visit, he committed that night. Uh, he was, he was, he bought in right away, and, and he always has been bought in. And uh, he just, he always wants to get better. You know, he just, he, he's one of the most coachable guys we have on the team. You know, he just, he's one of those guys. If I tell him something, or one of the other coaches tell him something, he just believes it and he'll do it. And, and that's 100 percent why he's so good. We talked about how much better the the tournament is getting, but the, I think you guys won a title here back in, in 2012, the, there were like 35 teams, yeah. and now we're going to next year approach 70, maybe go over 70. Yep. Uh, fr from your vantage point, what is what has that been like to watch the, the growth of NAIA wrestling? It's been awesome, you know, and 
uh, to me, I'm proud of this division. You know, just to see the growth, to see the changes, to, to see the um, the improved coaching staffs and all of it. I just feel you know, like it's, uh, it's just a division you can really be proud to be part of.